In order to manage an account, you need to get an admin account set up. This account doesn't need to have a license assigned to it, but can should it also be an account for using the software. The first account that gets invited with an initial soft key purchase from 2020 Office is set to be an admin. From an invite email sent, we can then press the link to accept the invitation to create a 2020 Cloud account. Click on the Create Account tab and proceed to fill out the requested information to finish registering this account. Return to your email one more time to confirm registration, either using the activation code on the previous screen or clicking the link contained. Once we sign back in to our cloud account on 2020spaces.com, we can now go to the Manage Users tab on the left. Here, we see a listing of all the current and invited accounts for the company, with the invited accounts featuring a paper airplane button, should we want to resend the invite email. To invite a new user, we push the Add New User button. Here, we need to write the user's name, type in the email address for the user's new account, and assign them a role. Admin to have the same permissions as the one we are using here, and to be able to pay for invoices, or user to simply be used for downloads and accessing the software. If this account is going to be used to access the software, check off a license from the available ones for the account listed here. Then click OK to have the invite sent. From here, they can follow the same process to register that was done earlier. Once the accounts are invited or created, we can edit them by pushing the blue edit icon on the row with their name. In this edit window, we can change the name and role for this account, but not the email. The email being the central component to the user means that it can't be changed and that you will want to invite a different email address if you want to use that one in instead. Below, we can also assign or unassign licenses by checking or unchecking them. Each account can be assigned one 2020 Office license, and each license gets to be assigned to only one account.